Hi, my name is Hamza Avso. I'm an applications engineer at Linear Technology. In today's world, high reliability and high availability systems have become an increasingly important part of many applications. Protection against voltage transients is essential to maintain the reliability of these applications, from automotive to portable instruments. Traditionally, protection against short spikes is done with filter capacitors and transient voltage suppressors. While these devices might be suitable for short spikes of limited energy, they often fall short of protecting the system against long transient surges, which are found in many industrial applications. Let me demonstrate. Here I have a fan as my load, which I want to protect from voltage transients. The light bulb serves to indicate that power is good. I have a 1N6284A, which is a 1500 watt TVS across the load. This TVS will act as my protection circuitry. I also have a 3 amp fuse for protection against short circuits. I will apply a 100 volt load dump pulse, which is a 3 to 500 millisecond pulse with the use of a load dump generator with a 2 ohm source impedance. And we will observe how the TVS protects the downstream circuitry by looking at the input voltage with the aid of a scope. Make sure you have proper protection before turning power on. Here is the setup on the bench. Power is on. Notice the light bulb and fan rotation indicates power is good. Now I will send a surge using the load dump generator. The light bulb turns off indicating that power was lost and the fan stops rotating. Let's take a look at the scope to see what happened. The voltage seen on the screen is the voltage across the TVS. Notice how the TVS barely manages to protect the load for a few milliseconds before it fails as a short circuit. Due to the short circuit, the fuse was blown open as well. In order to operate the circuit again, I have to replace both the fuse and the TVS. This becomes impractical in high availability systems. If the TVS had blown open, it would have taken out the downstream circuitry along with it. Placing multiple TVS devices together in parallel would improve the ruggedness of this protective circuit, but to extend protection to even 100 milliseconds might require multiple devices, which is totally impractical. Linear technology's surge stoppers protect downstream circuitry from surges which last from microseconds to DC. Previous LTC surge stoppers work by normally passing the input to the output through a low loss and channel MOSFET. But if the input rises too high, they clamp the output at a safe level. The output voltage is regulated by controlling the gate of the NMOS. This regulation level is set with feedback resistors. Once the output reaches its regulation level, a timer runs, which is set by the value of a timer capacitor. Once the timer expires, LTC surge stoppers notify downstream circuitry about the fault condition using the fault pin and turn off the MOSFET to protect it. Additionally, surge stoppers limit current. As with an overvoltage event, the surge stopper regulates the current to the value set by the sense resistor till the timer expires. The LTC4380 is the most recent addition to the surge stopper line and brings two exciting improvements over its predecessors. One, it's a fully functional at a crescent current of just nine microamps. The current is further reduced to five microamps during shutdown. This makes it the ideal protection device for rugged, high reliability systems, which always need to be on battery standby. The added benefit of this low supply current is that an RC filter of reasonable value on the VCC pin can supply power to the part during events where the voltage drops momentarily below the operating level of the IC. Examples of such conditions are brownout events and cold crank, which are commonly found in automotive systems. The second improvement of the 4380 is its adaptive timer. Overvoltage and overcurrent conditions are limited by this adjustable timer, which runs for a time set by the value of the timer capacitor and the power dissipation in the MOSFET. This timer is adaptive to the stress placed on the MOSFET by an input or output overload. The timer starts running as soon as power dissipation is detected in the MOSFET. High power dissipation in the FET corresponds to a shorter fault timer period, which helps to keep the MOSFET in its safe operating area, whereas low power dissipation corresponds to a longer timer period, which allows uninterrupted operation during surges which the MOSFET can handle. This technique allows us to use more of the MOSFET's safe operating area. The LTC4380 also has a select pin, which allows us to choose between two different clamp levels. 
Grounding the select pin will result in a gate clamp voltage of 32 volts, whereas connecting it to VCC sets a gate clamp voltage level of 53 volts. This saves board space by eliminating the need for feedback resistors. Keep in mind that the output clamp voltage will be the gate clamp voltage minus the threshold of the MOSFET. As an example, for a 5 volt threshold MOSFET with the select pin grounded, the output would clamp at 27 volts. Let's look at the device in action. I'm using the standard demo board of the LTC4380. The clamp voltage is set to 27 volts by grounding the select pin. Let's send the same 100 volt pulse that blew up our TVS and see how the 4380 holds up. The light bulb stays on and the load is uninterrupted. The input waveform is on channel one. Notice the 100 volt load dump pulse. The output waveform is on channel two. Notice the flat region in the waveform where the LTC4380 is regulating the voltage at our desired clamp voltage of 27 volts. It is protecting the downstream load and regulating for 20 times longer than the TVS without failing. The timer pin waveform is on channel three. Again, notice that the timer starts instantaneously as soon as the power starts dissipating in the MOSFET. Once the timer expires by reaching its threshold voltage, the LTC4380 would shut the MOSFET off. In this case, we chose the timer cap such that it can ride through a 100 volt load dump pulse without tripping off. Now that's all well and good, but what about sustained over voltage situations? Let's connect the LTC4380 to 80 volts DC. The LTC4380 also protects the downstream circuitry against DC over voltage conditions. The amount of time that this condition can be tolerated is dependent on the safe operating area of the MOSFET as well as the power ratings of the resistor and zener on the VCC pin, and so is not unlimited. In this case, the LTC4380 protected itself as well as the downstream circuitry by shutting off, as indicated by the light bulb turning off. Again, channel one shows the sustained 80 volts DC voltage. Channel two shows the output voltage. The LTC4380 protects the downstream load by cutting off power when the timer expires. Also notice how the timer period was accelerated as compared to our last surge event due to the sustained over voltage surge. The power dissipation in the MOSFET was minimized and the downstream load was once again protected. Once the over voltage situation is gone, the LTC4380-2 will auto retry and turn back on providing power to the load automatically. A TVS in this situation would not stand a chance. It would fail, and in order to bring the system back online, the fuse and the TVS would have to be replaced. In the case of a short circuit event, the LTC4380 will limit the current until the timer runs out and turn off the MOSFET, preserving the fuse. Channel four shows the input current being regulated at the predefined current limit till the MOSFET opens. Channel three shows the timer reaching its threshold and timing out. Best of all, it provides all this functionality with a current drain of only nine microamps typical on the system. In conclusion, the LTC4380 is a rugged high voltage surge stopper which can be used in a wide variety of applications. Its low QS and current makes it ideal for always on systems that are power conscious. It is the perfect voltage suppression solution for many industrial, automotive, and avionic applications. Visit us at linear.com for more details. Thank you for watching.